everybody. Welcome back to the world of me. This is another episode from TAC. Now, we got our order in much faster than what we have here in the past few uh, boxes. Uh, they've been having the issues with their shipping and, and everything like that. And this one came in literally weeks faster than what the previous boxes were. Like, I'm not getting it the day before I'm trying to release a video. Uh, anyhow, let's go ahead. Uh, we'll go ahead and open this up. Uh, now, I did get a an email about this, and uh, it, they didn't, I guess, send the card. Uh, so they sent an email with a PDF file with the card information on it. So I do actually already know what's in this, and I'll kind of go over that information uh, off of the card here once I get it opened up. All right, everybody, well, here we go. Uh, now, there's actually four things that we got here in the package, and I only actually knew about two because they were all that was on the little placard here. Uh, now, on the placard, it told me about actually the two flashlights here. Uh, I didn't really see anything, at least not on the placard, about uh, these two other pieces. Uh, now, this one's very simple. This is the Snake Eaters Union. Uh, it has their logo and everything right there, and this is just a basic sticker. Uh, now, of course, the Snake Eaters uh, Union is basically those of us who have uh, basically gone in and purchased uh, the Crate Club boxes and everything. That kind of gives you or makes you a default member of the, of the Snake Eaters Union, as they call it. Uh, so there's that out of the way. And, uh, you know, this one, I'm going to go ahead and leave this other one for last. We'll uh, get into these these first two, or the lights that, uh, that uh, I actually had the information on. So these are both from the same company, the Streamlight Company. This is the Stylus Pro 360. Now, uh, from the information that I read on the placard, as well as what it's showing me here on the box, this is a... A, a regular has a regular flashlight function as well as kind of a uh, I like to consider it like a candle function or you could consider it something of a lantern function and uh, along with it it comes it does come with a lanyard and a uh, carrying pouch and then of course it does have the two AAA batteries included we'll go ahead and get that put together here all right, so there we go, uh, all put together. Now this does have a simple pocket clip, so you can uh, kind of keep it on you. You could uh, also use it to uh, maybe position it uh, to aim at something, uh, depending on, on where you need it pointed. Now, we do have the back end. This does have a rubber cap on it, and that is meant to set it so that you're able to stand it up on end, as well as it also helps to protect the push button, which is at the back end there. There, and uh, this is a pretty decent light, pretty bright. Um, it's uh, it's not super super bright, so I uh, you know like like uh, the previous little tiny pen light that we got with our first box. It's definitely not as bright as that, but it is very nice. Uh, it's it's definitely lighting the area up very well. And then what's nice is you can take and slide this forward. And now you've got more of a that lantern function where you can set it and light up an area all the way around instead of just aiming it directly at a at one area like this. So if we set that back a little bit, of course it brightens it up and widens the beam out a little bit. Uh, this is definitely a pretty nice one in general. Now it is made from aluminum. It says that the runtime is a uh, 6.5 hours. That is an LED that's in there. Uh, it has, of course, that 360 degree because of uh, opening up the top there and letting the light shine out around the outside. When you first turn it on, and uh, as long as the batteries haven't really drained much, uh, it is considered to be 65 lumens. Uh, we've got. Uh, the little case here and uh, you can go ahead and slide that in the case uh, let's see we'll do it that way with the little clip out if you want to help hold it secure and then there is the opening for a belt loop and then we've also got this 
little lanyard here that uh, we can take and it's got the small end with a little key ring type piece on it that you can of course clip in there uh, to that section as well and you can you can wear it around your neck or uh, use it somewhere else it does have the little slider here as well as a breakaway I think yep the breakaway section there so uh, if you had it hanging around your neck you could easily yank it and not worry about breaking the cord or anything but have it ready uh, to go now here we go we've got this smaller one here this is the uh, their their smaller version this is called the micro stream uh, from streamlight it says that it also has an LED and it has a runtime of two and a half hours so obviously much much shorter runtime it is only using one uh, AAA battery though so I'm sure that's going to be a big part of it it does have a blinking function as well as a constant on function it too comes with that uh, the same the same lanyard as the larger model there does oh there we go and of course this is a very small one fits easily in your hand uh, it has the clip but the cool thing about this clip is it doesn't just clip this way, it actually clips the other way. So you could actually put it on your hat and use it as like a headlamp if you're wearing like a baseball cap or something. So let's take a look. This is of course not nearly as bright as the other one was. Uh, you've only got of course the one AAA battery in this. Alright, well uh, I'm not sure what they mean by the blink, uh, momentary blink, unless they're talking about just tapping the button. Uh, because I, I, you can't just push the button and get it to blink, or at least I can't. So uh, I'm not sure exactly what that is. Maybe it's me, maybe it's actually the, the way it's designed, I'm not sure. Um, now again, this is made out of uh, machined aluminum, and I did notice on these, these do have a limited lifetime warranty on them. Uh, now the brightness on this one is set at 45 lumens. Now as we look on the on the sheet here and they talk about them they do say the manufacturer's suggested retail price for the larger one is forty five dollars and they say that the retail price for the smaller one is thirty dollars well twenty nine forty three uh, to be honest definitely would not pay forty five dollars for this i might pay twenty dollars for this but not forty five I uh, even even though it is a good quality one and everything like that it's still just a little too basic a little too lightweight in my point of view uh, and this is a 10 or 15 dollar flashlight to me a single a single one like that I mean granted it is 45 lumens which is reasonably bright for a AAA battery but still it's 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 a, a fairly lightweight and I don't mean lightweight just because it's made from aluminum uh, it's it's not a heavy walled um, like high density kind of feel to it. it 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 feels a little bit light like the the weight that it has a lot of it is coming from just that battery and so you know it um, I don't know that 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 would quite go in my bag of okay worth anything close to the manufacturer's price so so let's go ahead and get into this last one and of course if you guys saw any of the previous videos and you saw the 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 other one that we had where it had a Gerber knife uh, you'll know that I do know and do enjoy um, having and using knives uh, obviously I use them to open these up now of course the Gerber lines uh, do have lifetime warranties uh, and this one right here is the Paraframe 1 or paraframe I and it is a tight it does have a titanium nitride coating on it 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 has the uh, straight edge at the front section with the section of serration at the back and of course this is a folder now the uh, overall length here from from tip to tip is about seven inches and closed it is just over four about 4.1 inches there we go it's got a nice uh, thin type of uh, end on it uh, definitely uh, you know kind of kind of nice instead of some of the bulky ones where it's real big and fat uh, a little more streamlined lighten it up a little bit gives it a little bit more penetration if you're using it for maybe um, if you've been uh, 
using it for game or anything like that in terms of like hunting or something like that. It uses the side lock there so you push it over and close it and then it does have of course the thumb uh, openers there so you can uh, open it reasonably quickly. Uh, it has the little belt clip there so uh, you can of course use it there slide it over in your pocket or whatever and uh, keep it secured that way so uh, I would say this is a pretty nice one I, I like it it fits my hand reasonably well my hands are a little bit wide uh, and uh, it's it, it fits reasonable so I would say it would definitely be very useful this is pretty heavy cardboard right here I just want to see what it does So out of the box, it's it's, and this is this is very heavy cardboard. Honestly, um, that's doing very nice. I wonder if we can uh, actually, yeah, coming straight out of the box. This is actually uh, doing a reasonable job. I'm able to do a little bit of shaving. I mean, it's not it's not super great, but it's doing a decent job. Um, for a nice simple knife like this, I think it's I think it's a a good a good addition, and I think with the knife and the two flashlights, I do think that uh, the box this time came out to a balance. I, I'm gonna say I'm not disappointed this time. Uh, I mean it's it's right there. Uh, I think I think it's reasonably worth it. I mean, of course, this is up to you. Um, the value that I place on these versus the value that you place on them are, are going to be different. What what you're looking for versus what I'm looking for, uh, you know, those things are going to be a little different. But see, I'm here to try and give you guys an idea on what some of this stuff is, some of the, some of the quality uh, and uh, what the overall is. If you guys are uh, willing to to go ahead and try the boxes out and this is of course showing you the things that come in those boxes uh, the kind of quality and things that you can look for uh, again it's up to you and where you guys think um, you're at in terms of what kind of quality and what kind of value these hold for you so that's kind of where we're at uh, anyhow my name is Cougar this is the world of me and another episode of the tax series. Uh, if you guys want to check out the Crate Club, uh, you can go down below and click on the link down there. There's also our social media. Go ahead and check those things out. I uh, keep up to date on all of that. Also, while you're on your way down there, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Helps me out a lot. Let's me know that you like what you see. In terms of the videos and uh, my commentary and things like that, trying to let you know what's going on with things, as well as when you're going to do that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. There'll be a little link floating around right over there, or you can always hit that one down there with the little bell icon. Don't forget to set that up so that you're notified of when new videos come out. All right, guys. Well, I will talk to you later, and have a good day. Bye.